welcome in Karibuni to Aroma of Zanzibar. Today I'm going to share with you how I'm making this delicious and colorful Kabuli pilau. So we're going to start by making the spices and I'm using about two tablespoons of whole cumin, one teaspoon of black peppercorns, two cinnamon sticks, two black cardamoms, and uh, half a teaspoon of cloves and one teaspoon of green cardamom and we're going to roast this for a while until you can smell all the spices in the air then you're going to cool it and blend it into a nice fine powder so for my rice i'm using about two cups of uh, basmati rice and we're going to wash this very nicely and remove the starch so you're going to wash it for about two times or three times if you want to so that our rice is nice and uh, the grains are very um, long and well separated. And we're going to soak this for about 45 minutes to one hour before we start cooking. Over medium heat, I've got my pot ready there and I've added about four to five tablespoons of vegetable oil. And you just want to heat it up for a minute or so. And I used one large red onion that I have sliced, as you can see. But you can use white or yellow, whatever you prefer. We're going to saute this for a couple of minutes. Now, I like my pilau white, so I'm not going to be browning my onions. But if you want your pilau brown or dark, please go ahead and brown your onions. All right. So I'm going to saute that. And then I added fresh ginger and garlic paste, about a tablespoon. But you can always add more if you wish to. And we're going to saute that also for a minute or so. Uh, please make sure you do not burn the garlic because it will change the flavor of your rice. All right, so at this point, I add the chicken. I used about uh, a medium sized chicken, which was about, I think, 500 or to 700 grams, and I cut it into eight large pieces. I prefer to use large pieces of chicken in such meals because it's easy for me to serve. But you can always make smaller ones if you want. Now, kabuli rice or pilau, it's usually prepared with lamb shanks. If you can get hold of those, it's something not to be missed. Really, really delicious. So after I saute for a couple of minutes, I added the spices that we prepared. Now, these are basic pilau spices, but the ratio is different than the one that I use for my normal pilau. So if you don't want to make uh, special spices like this, go ahead and use the pilau spices that you use regularly. And uh, some people use garam masala. I've not tried. You can try if you want to. We're ready to add the water. And I used about four cups of water. Um, I didn't want to have any extra broth, but I kind of ran a little bit short. So if you're using the same measurements as I did the recipe, please add about five to six cups of water. All right, so once it comes to a boil, you want to taste and see that everything is well balanced. And so, of course, we're going to add some salt and some extra spices. You want your broth to be really, really flavorful because that's how you're going to have that delicious and tasty pilau. All right. So after that, we're going to reduce the heat, cover it and let it simmer until the chicken is cooked. So I'm ready to soak my raisins. I used about uh, half a cup of raisins, but of course, you can use less or more. And for the carrots, you can use two or three, however you like it. You can also grate the carrots, but I'm going to julienne mine into nice match, match, box, match box stick size. All right, so I just slice these and you can pile them into two or three if you want to. And we're just going to julienne these. All right, I used only two carrots. So now once my chicken is ready... We're going to remove it from the broth. And if you want to cook your broth further, you can go ahead and cook it a little further before you add your rice. So we're going to strain the rice and add it into the broth. And we're going to cook this for about seven to eight minutes. You don't want to overcook your rice. <clears throat> See, my broth was way too thick. Okay, so of course you're going to add some salt too. If you think you need to add more salt over here, please do so. And my rice is ready. 
all right like i said you don't want to overcook it because it's going to be very mushy so we're going to strain this now you see why you need to make extra broth because like i mentioned mine was way too thick so i didn't have much um, broth left after i strained it we're going to make the burnt sugar i used half a cup but uh, you can use quarter cup that should be enough and uh, we're just going to burn the sugar this is going to give that beautiful color and also that uh, little bit of uh, unique flavor to the rice it's not going to make it sweet i don't know what was in my spoon i have no idea all right so once it you know caramelizes and get brown to this point i added the broth all right so you're just going to stir it quickly and remove it from the heat So we're going to fry the carrots. I've used about a quarter cup of oil. And once it gets heated up on medium heat, just add the carrots. You can do them in two badges or three badges, depending how much you have. And then to this, uh, sprinkled about a half a teaspoon of cardamom powder for some extra flavors. So we're going to fry this for about uh, two to three minutes, not that not too long so we are ready to take them make sure you have a paper towel ready so you can drain the extra grease from the from the carrots and at this point turn up your heat and we're going to fry the chicken now the chicken we're not really going to fry we just want to add some color now i like to fry my chicken after the carrots because the carrots left that beautiful orange yellowish color that i wanted in my chicken so we're gonna do it maybe one or two minutes on each side just to get the color you don't want to really really fry it because it's already cooked and it's going to be too dry i also sprinkle half a teaspoon of cardamom powder to that as well you see we already got that beautiful orange or golden color Okay, so it's ready to come out. And squeeze the water out of the uh, raisins and we're going to fry these as well. And these will take maybe a minute or so as soon as they start to puff up. And also sprinkle the cardamom powder to that. As soon as they start to puff up, you can remove them from the heat. You see? We are ready to assemble the rice. So I'm just going to put half of it. You can do it all at one time. Mine was, my rice was almost overcooked because I think the broth was too thick. Then we're going to sprinkle the pilau masala about half a teaspoon and drizzle the burnt sugar about two to three tablespoons. You can add as much as you want. It depends if you want it all in one color. And also the onions, which are totally optional. It's something that I like to do. And unfortunately, they were burnt. I had too many things going on. And I couldn't show, show you the fried onions because the um, I had the camera on somewhere else. All right. So the rice again. And then the uh, pilau masala again, about one teaspoon. And again, we drizzle the, uh, the burnt sugar and my burnt onions. Then we're going to layer the chicken. Now, I like to keep it separately because it's easy to serve. So the chicken on one side, the raisins on one side, and the carrots on one side. But you can layer them however you want to do it. It's fine. And they're going to keep a kitchen towel to keep the moisture. Then keep it on low heat for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now, if you want to use some nuts, I'm using almonds. You're going to roast that for a few minutes so that they become nice and crunchy. So our rice is ready. As you can see, so we're going to remove the chicken pieces first. This is a beautiful rice, you people. It's really nice. It's, it tastes like pilau, but with an extra element or dimension. So you can see my rice has got two colors, but if you want all in one brown, you can add more uh, burnt sugar to it. Then we're going to layer the chicken. But you can do the chicken right on the top if you want to, however you want to serve. And I'm going to alternate the, the carrots and the raisins so that uh, they are spread evenly. OK. 
okay and that's about it as you can see it's a beautiful dish and uh, wholesome and if you want to add more nuts you can go ahead and add more nuts if you don't want nuts it's fine it's optional so i'm just gonna add my sprinkle my almonds so thank you so much for more recipes please visit me at Rome of zanzibar you'll find all the measurements and ingredients on this page and in the description box below